Hello everyone, in this video we will be discussing the types of algorithms in machine learning. There are many algorithms in machine learning and many more are yet being developed. But all of the machine learning algorithms can be classified into three main categories. And they are supervised learning, unsupervised learning and reinforcement learning. Supervised learning algorithms are used when the given data has both independent variables and the target variable. And the task of the supervised learning algorithm is to find the relationship between independent variables and the target variable. Let's try to understand this with a simple example. Let's assume we have some data about the hours studied by students and the marks scored by them in the exam. Here the hours studied is the independent variable and mark score is the target variable. We are required to find what kind of relationship exists between the hours studied and mark score. If we just plot the given data on the graph, we can see that the mark score increases as the number of hours studied increases. Also we can see that there is a linear relationship between the input and the target variable. Thus the given data has linear relationship which is of the form y is equal to mx plus c. In supervised learning again there are two categories. Algorithms for regression type problems and algorithms for classification type problems. When the target variable has continuous values, regression type algorithms can be used. Example the data of our studied and marks code. Here the marks code is a continuous value like 30, 42.5, 53, etc. Thus here regression type algorithms should be used. When the target variables have discrete or fixed set of values, we can use classification type algorithms. For example, if we have the data of how was studied and passed in exam or not, the target variable passed in exam or not has only two values, pass or fail. Thus we can use classification type algorithms. Some of the popular supervised learning algorithms are linear regression, logistic regression, k-nearest neighbors, support vector machines, decision trees, random forest and naive bays. Unsupervised learning algorithms can be used when there are no target variables. In this case, we are not trying to predict anything. We are just trying to find the pattern in the data if there is any. Let's take a simple example to understand this. We have the data which has two independent variables. One is gender and the other is interested in beauty products or gaming products. We don't have any target variable in this case. If we can visualize this data, this is how it looks. We can observe some sort of pattern here. Many males are interested in gaming products. Many females are interested in beauty products. Very few females are interested in gaming products and very few males are interested in beauty products. Basically, when we feed this data to an unsupervised learning algorithm, the algorithm will simply find this pattern and output four clusters from this data and also give a, and also give some random names to these clusters like cluster 1 cluster 2 cluster 3 and cluster 4 once the pattern is ready it can be very helpful for example let's assume we have a beauty product for men we can easily target this product for cluster 4 instead of targeting on all the people this will reduce the advertising cost significantly some of the popular unsupervised learning algorithms are k-means clustering, hierarchical clustering and single linkage clustering. Reinforcement learning is all about letting an agent to interact in an environment. The agent will be rewarded for doing positive work and punished for doing negative work in the environment. Let's assume you are training your dog to do certain trick. Whenever your dog does the trick right, you will reward it by giving some treat. If the dog does the trick wrong, you will simply punish it by not giving any treat. 
The dog will understand this and tries to perform the trick correctly so as to maximize the positive reward.